Salam alaikum. Uh, I was uh, debating David Wood on reasons answers uh, <clears throat> about 10 verses of Quran and unfortunately um, despite I was a guest and this was a serious debate they were uh, insulting um, my belief by putting uh, a, uh, a dog sniffing uh, Quran and then uh, rejecting it, uh, which I found it very disrespectful, and uh, I, uh, you know, I was forced to stop my uh, conversation several times until they removed it, and. Uh, of course, at the end, they started it again, but uh, anyway, um, I was, uh, I always been respectful to other religions, and even there, I was respect to, respectful to their religion, uh, Christianity, and I don't believe that uh, <clears throat> what they did is, um, uh, has anything to do with Christianity. Uh, it is cultural, and uh, unfortunately, um, because I know that there are many, many good Christians, and uh, particularly we are talking about Christians. So there are many, many good and loving Christians, and what they did uh, on that channel was disrespectful, and it doesn't have anything to do with the uh, uh, true message of Jesus, peace be upon him. Uh, love one another, love your neighbors as you love yourself, because uh, <clears throat> this is... Any rational person understand that I cannot love my neighbors and every uh, tell them every morning that I love you, my neighbors, and then I uh, put, for example, their book uh, and a dog sniff it and reject it or something like that, or tear their books. That's not love, okay? As long as they are peaceful to you, uh, then you have no right to insult anybody. You have no right to... Uh, you know, discussion, normal discussion, friendly discussion always can be done, but uh, humiliating uh, them and their religion is absolutely wrong. Please, uh, it's not about winning or losing, okay? Uh, <laughs> told us, please, I want to see, uh, I want to see David when I'm talking to him. So, uh, because there, there are things coming up on his face, the dog is eating Quran and so on. So uh, <laughs> it's not eating the Quran; it's sniffing the Quran. Anyway, so, uh, so the animations are triggered by the audience; they're part of my live streams. Okay. So, um, okay, I'll wait until this pass, and then I will talk. <laughs> you keep talking. You don't have to be distracted. Because, uh, by it, the is, it distracted me. Yeah, it distracted me. So, uh, I mean, somehow yeah, you're distracting I, perfect dawah with your dog yeah, animations. Because, no, because because I'm talking to I I'm. I'm in a serious uh, debate, I think, yeah? All right, so anyway, I was born in, um, all right, I will wait again, so. Uh, <laughs> Do I have to turn the, I have to turn these off? <laughs> uh, somehow you turn it off because it, it's distracting. I, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot concentrate. <sighs> if I was, even today, if I was born in a, a remote village of, um, I will disable the dog animation for you. Okay. Okay. Please. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm disabling right. it. Yeah. In my debate with David Wood, when I bring uh, chapter ninety-eight, verse six, and say, Quran talk about uh, kuffar among people of the book and the polytheist, uh, Theodos uh, from uh, recent answers. Uh, he said that uh, Quran is talking about some of the Christian and Jews who believed uh, in Prophet Muhammad. Despite Quran is talking about not only Christian and Jews, it's talking about polytheists as well. So it says, among people of the book and polytheists, uh, those who commit kufr. So Allah is talking about those who do bad, bad deeds among them, okay? And unfortunately, they uh, insist in their misinterpretation of Quran. 
and says that uh, yeah, Kafir is disbelief, and those who disbelieve in um, Prophet Muhammad are, uh, uh, you know, the kuffar. So I mean, the explanation is very simple. Some of a small percentage of Jews and Christians accepted Muhammad and followed him, so they are the ones that Allah is not against. All the rest of the Jews and Christians, he's against. Yeah, and the the, the impression okay. the impression that you get from the Quran, and by the way, you know. Uh, uh, we're talking about Surah 3, verse 32. Uh, that's the exact same interpretation that, um, I mean, in, in fact, the Haleli Khan adds adds some parenthetical commentary based on the um, based on the commentary of uh, of Ibn Abbas. But mm -hmm. the the commentary there is those if you disbelieve in Muhammad. So the idea, the impression that I get from the Quran is yeah. that Jews are supposed to follow their scriptures, uh, Christians are supposed to follow their scriptures, Muslims are supposed to follow their scriptures, but Jews and Christians are also supposed to acknowledge Muhammad as a messenger, even though they are commanded to follow their own scriptures. But there are some who, when presented with Muhammad, say, no, we don't believe in him, and this shows that they're not real believers if they're rejecting Muhammad, because we, we supposedly find him in our scriptures. So okay. you've got this test if someone is a true believer, if you accept Muhammad when he is presented to you. And what do you find in Surah 3, verse 32? Say, obey Allah and his messenger. If they don't, they're disbelievers and Allah doesn't love them. Surah 98, verse 6, which calls <clears throat> Jews and Christians who reject Muhammad the worst of creatures. So this is this is not uh, this seems pr perfectly straightforward. There's nothing confusing here. But if you're going to say that, no, what you really need to do is you need to, to, to sort of piece together an understanding by going to all these different verses, and that understanding completely contradicts the understanding of 14 centuries worth of Muslims, you can do that, but now you're dealing with revelations that are completely unclear. They're so, un, they're so ridiculously unclear that when okay. a group like ISIS raises the banner, they get they get Muslims from around the world, Muslims from the UK, Muslims from France, Muslims from Canada, Muslims from the US, Muslims from all over the world, flood to the Middle East to say, yes, these guys get it. According to you, the reason they all completely misunderstand Islam is because Allah is the worst communicator who's ever existed. All right, <clears throat> let me please, uh, uh, first of all, I have to tell you that ISIS was created by Qasem Soleimani, the biggest terrorist on the planet. He took 2,000 uh, uh, prisoners from Iraqi uh, uh, prisons and took them to Syria, gave them a safe haven, and told them to commit all those brutal uh, acts and shoot it and show it to the, to the world so that they, Assad can say to the world that if I go, ISIS take the, the, you know, uh, the power. And uh, uh, what is it? Even Russia, when they went to, to Syria, they said that we are going to fight ISIS. But according to CNN, 10% of their attack was on ISIS. And we don't know even they <clears throat> were really attacking them. The 90% of their attack was on uh, Syrian, uh, you know, this uh, <clears throat> uh, free army. Okay. So these are a political organization. They just, uh, you know, follow their masters. And uh, even there was a research, not by Muslims, by, uh, you know, by researchers in the West that most of these people who go there, they go for sex and killing, okay? They don't care about religion, okay? So chapter two, verse 34 says, <clears throat> when we told the angels, bow down before Adam, they all bowed, but not Iblis, who refused and was arrogant, and he became a kafir, okay? So uh, Satan was talking to God. He became a kafir just because he rejected his command not because he disbelieved in God, okay? But uh, this, uh, I mean, absolutely ridiculous because uh, as I said, Quran is talking about Christian Jews and polytheists, okay? So they didn't need to recognize anything, the polytheist, okay? So, and if Christian and Jews admit that prophet, um, I mean, Muhammad is prophet of God, then they should believe in him, okay? They should become Muslims. And they are called Christian and Jews. When they are uh, Christian and Jews, then they don't have to believe that Muhammad was the prophet of God. So this is absolutely nonsense that uh, he's talking about. In Surah 3, verse 32, say, obey Allah and his messenger. If they don't, 
they're disbelievers, and Allah doesn't love them. Surah 98, verse 6, which calls <clears throat> Jews and Christians who reject Muhammad the worst of creatures. No, Allah doesn't say Christian and Jews are the worst uh, creatures. Again, I say those Christian and Jews uh, who are kafir commit kufr, okay? And the polytheists as well. It's mentioned polytheists also, not only Christian and Jews. And when we put these verses beside chapter 3, verse 113, 14, and 15, we see that not all Christian and Jews are <clears throat> alike. There are good Christian and Jews who uh, will be rewarded and they will be, uh, they are among the righteous people and they will be rewarded uh, uh, will enter the heaven.